Good evening. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Pizza Talk. <laughs> um, I'm Sherry Lamby, and welcome to my backyard. I hope this is working. Um, I live in Playa del Rey, so please excuse any airplane noise. As uh, so many of us know who live in Westchester and Playa del Rey, here comes one now. This is the downside to living right along the flight path. Um, and for the record, we're all vaccinated up so we can hang out together and do this Facebook Live with you. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Janet Copula. Um, thank you for being here. We really appreciate you taking the time. Obviously, we're all busy. Um, I'm running for residential district four. Um, and I just wanted to say that, you know, Sherry has this awesome yard. It's really loud right now, so I'm going to speak really loud. Like, yeah, I hope you can still hear me. Um, and yeah, so uh, I just wanted to let you know that I made some pizza dough and some homemade pesto, and we've got all these great ingredients. And so we're going to be making pizzas because, you know, we got to make dinner and we're hungry. And hey, she has this outdoor pizza oven. I want to use this. So super excited to be here. Um, I'm running for the youth organization for the council. Um, and since we're all busy moms of boys, we figured what better way to um, do this Facebook Live than to just hang out and cook for ourselves and our families and talk about ourselves and our dedication to our uh, community and eat some pizza and dine together. Well, we're at it because we're all pretty vaccinated. So we Woo! just dine out for tonight oh. and we'll make some pizza. And drink oh, some wine drink some because wine. we're moms. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <buddy>. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, we have our producer, my husband, Duff, in the wings, ready to take any questions you put in the comments for us as we will be busy making our pizzas. Sherry wants to hear from Sherry's aprons. Oh, <laughs> yes, we have yeah, our right, fancy Sherry. aprons. Sherry is a designer. She made these for us. <laughs> she made us aprons. Heather, you're not doing any more posts. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Got, you got can it. scooch if you want. Okay. We have room. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. Right, so I got my dough ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start prepping the pizza. Hopefully, you can hear me still. I'm closest to the microphone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. And Ooh. as we've gotten to know each other, we found um, we had a lot of commonalities, and we found, for instance, that we all have a link to Minnesota. I was I was born in Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota, and I also was born and grew up in Minnesota. So there we go. So we're very fond of don't lake, you know lake life. Oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, and you betcha. <laughs> you for sure. <laughs> we also we all have boys. That's another thing. We all have ch children of the male species. So yeah, uh, that's fun. <laughs> but, okay, that's okay. Is Heather kind of not here, or is it all of us? We have a like, yeah. It's, oh, it's not. Oh, <laughs> get closer. Okay. Got it. We can do we'll that. Close. We're vaccinated. We're good. <laughs> and and we all love pizza. Um, well, so I'll start. Um, <laughs> um, I'm running for the business seat for nine zero two nine three. Um, for two years, my seat sat empty and nobody was advocating on our behalf. Um, as a mom, a graphic designer, progressive, and a female small business owner, I'm bringing something different to the council. Altogether, we want to put more of the neighborhood in the neighborhood council. Um, there are a lot of special interests on the neighborhood council or people representing the airport, realtors, Legato. Whoa, there goes her. <laughs> and miscellaneous business conflicts that frequently have to recuse themselves for votes. But I come in, I didn't I don't have a special agenda. Um and I just really wanted to um see how the sausage gets made. Um speaking of which, can you hand me the sausage? Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um so I, and I have a passion for our area. Um especially Playa del Rey in particular, and I really just want to see it thrive. 
Um, I live by the airport. Again, you will hear just now, here comes the plane, right? <laughs> just on time. Um, I want to ensure that they remain a good neighbor for all of us. Um, as a graphic designer, one of my particular passions I have is beautification and revitalization and public art. You need the mushroom. I mean, uh, oh, all of things. Um, and, uh, uh, and one project in particular I really want to work on is better branding for Playa del Rey downtown. Um, there is a very low key rundown hidden sign for Playa del Rey. And it's always been my like wishes that we had a better sign down there and kind of like Venice um, has on their cable across the street. I would love to get something done for Playa del Rey. And um, you know, maybe something more colorful, more exciting, maybe Instagram worthy or something. <laughs> And we happen to have a world-class environmental design firm called Self Perkins, headquartered in downtown Playa del Rey. Um, they did the LAX kinetic, kinetic light pylons. Um, they did the graphics for the city of Santa Monica and the Big Blue Bus. They did the Pacific Design Center um, environmental design, among a lot of other high-profile projects. And I wonder if they might not be enjoying those to help out their little hometown uh, headquarters a bit. So I would love to work on that. Um, I'm also a connectionary with my husband. And um, so our zone is on the edge of the airport property where Surfridge used to be on Napoleon Avenue from Waterview to Vista Del Mar. Sometimes there's so much trash. It's like people were tailgating and just left every bit of their wrappers and everything. Sausage. Hey. <laughs> and um, other times we go and it's spotless. Somebody came through from the city, but what I'd like to do is try to secure more city services for um, trash pickup and more cans and um, get more cleanup in our area. So those are a couple of my goals if you elect me to the council. Um, and then we can take questions yeah. or we can move to Jana's. Uh, did you yes, have questions? Do we have questions? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm at their house next to Liberty. Yes. Best pizza oven will travel. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if anybody wants the recipe for this pesto or this um, pizza dough, I'll drop it in the comments later. Just just hit us in the comments and say, I really want the recipe, and we'll put them in later. Homemade pizza dough, homemade mm. pesto by Jana. I know. Delicious. Store bought ingredients by me. <laughs> I store by things too. It's so okay. they can't hear any of us or like. Right. So we have no questions so far, other than the portability of the pizza oven. Important question. Nice. <laughs> Can you scroll down? Because I hear you have to manually scroll yeah. to see. So. Um, okay. Well, I'll start talking. And if we have questions, uh, please jump in. Um, Can I I'm, do the yes. Is there a crust oh. ready for me? Yes. No, I'll make one. Okay. Here, okay. I'm going to move that. I'll back. wait. <laughs> I'm going to multitask. Here oh, we go. You know what? I can do my question. Yeah. You make a dough. Yeah, why okay. don't you do that? I had one then. question that I saw had been answered, uh, or, or asked rather, and it was, what's um, your favorite Westchester event? And mine has been the Westchester Mental Health Guild's Holiday Home Tour. Um, I've done it a few years in a row. Um, you normally get to go to five to eight um, different beautiful Westchester and Playa del Rey homes that have been decorated for the holidays. Um, so you get to get inside some of your neighbor's houses. You also get to see um, some of your neighbors as you cross paths and uh, drive around town. And um, after you're finished touring homes, there's a silent auction and a fee at the end and all proceeds go to, at the Elks Lodge. And then um, the proceeds go towards the airport marina counseling service. And that's always really fun. And then, um, Last year, because of COVID, they did a little um, alternate version and they made it a um, self-guided holiday lights tour instead. And that was a really nice um, twist on it. So that was always really fun. So that's my favorite uh, event. So awesome. Well, as soon as we have a pizza peel, we'll put oh, this here. on here. Or you can oh, put it on I'm here. actually using You can flip it on here. Never mind, I'm using on. this one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here, just Don't go ahead. Pizza. There we go. Okay, now you. Now I'll go. Okay, okay so you. 
I'm running for residential district four. I live in West Westchester. Um, I'm gonna scoot up just a smidge. We're all kind of trying to stay out of each other's way. I hope you can all hear me. <laughs> um, one of the big things that I really wanna do and, and a, a question was asked earlier that I saw about, um, I think it was what committees would you want to be on or potentially create? And this kind of dovetails nicely into what I really wanna do and that is I really wanna get the youth involved in neighborhood council. I really, really wanna make sure that we are leveraging the fact that we have an awesome model United Nations program at the Y. We have an awesome teens in government program at the Y. These are kids, um, my kid is in teens in government. They had, of course, for COVID, they had to pivot this year and do their, um, their conference online, but they did an entire, they focus more on local politics this year. Yeah, grab the cheese. And they really loved um, interacting with kids all over the LA area. They gave out four um, outstanding delegate awards at their final conference, and two of them were from Westchester. So clearly, we, we clearly have teens in this area who are interested in this and who are engaged, and we wanna keep getting them engaged. I think that's so important so they can make informed decisions later. They grow up to be good citizens and be good community members. They really understand what they're looking for. Um, there are 99 neighborhood councils in the Los Angeles area. 44 of them have a youth representative seat. So I would love to create a youth representative seat even before that, because it takes a little while. I would love to get kids involved in the committees. We have an education committee. Why don't we have kids represented? This is what we're talking about. Their educations where this is affecting who they are. They are the biggest stakeholders in that committee. We should have representatives. Maybe we would invite somebody from each high school and maybe we do forums for middle schoolers and elementary schoolers just to find out what they're thinking. What's really important to them right now? Let's get our finger on the pulse of the younger kids and get them involved in what we really, really wanna see in this neighborhood because there's so many families and there's so many schools in the area. We, we need to make sure that they're really, um, we're really listening because we're allowing 16 year olds and up to vote, but if we're not asking them what they want or what they wanna do, and that's really just this thing, we're asking them to vote for us and then not asking them why or, or what we can do for them. That, which doesn't seem fair. So any follow-up, oh, question. Oh, that's a good question. You wanna take that or you want me to try and take I, a stab at it? I mean, we can both, yeah, I can say, because I've been on the council for um, the last five years. Pause. So, Is it easier so, if we trade places? Oh, Does that better sound? I'm gonna say that. No, I don't know. Trade, but it seems more direct. Okay. We can, um, I can take a stab at that question just because I've been on um, neighborhood council. The reason that I did join was because I had just kind of rolled off of working full time and I felt like there was um, something that there was something inside me that said, well, I can't just, you know, I can't just sit here. Um, with my kids all day without doing something for the community that they're going to grow up in. And so that was my motivation for joining to really form and shape the type of community that oh, it's, it's, it says, I think it's, I don't know. It, it says eight. I don't know if it's pot, it, oh, seven, six, it's counting down maybe. Is it still paused or is it going? Are we, are we paused? Anybody? I don't know if it did any is anyone commenting that we're paused? Why did you set anything on our Oh, we have it set, don't we? That, that it won't. Okay. I think we have it set that it won't go to sleep. I don't know if it's Oh, well, that's there. Is it okay, are we back? <laughs> are we good? Anybody comment? That did, nobody can. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, it still looks like it's counting down. I don't know. Six, it's stuck on six. But anyway, I joined solely for my kids to um, shape the community that they, we got. We got a pet got now a dog. Um, to shape the community that they're growing up in, because I, I felt like what better way to do that than to get involved and to have my voice be heard. So, um, yeah, I don't Janet. I, I think you directly talked about sort of how you what your kids' interests have now pushed a passion 
for the neighbor council, maybe. Yeah, we're we're frozen. We're frozen. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, all right. We'll just keep, keep going. Talking and <laughs> hope that this is working. Yay, technology and dogs and <laughs> families and parents <laughs> and. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, we don't know. I think it. I, yeah, but he was just moving. moving. I think we're on this one. So. I think we're good. It says live and it's counting right here. So I think but we're good. Are yeah. they saying it's paused? What are no. the comments? I think it's just on my computer. Yep, yeah, I think we're right. in. We'll keep going. <laughs> we're going to just keep cooking pizza. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a lot of pizza. It's delicious. Um, yeah, I just, I never thought I would do this. This is never my wheelhouse. I'm the behind the scenes kind of person. I will bring you 16 meals. I will help you pack and move. I literally, you can ask some of my friends. I will pack your stuff and help you like set it all up for the moving people. But running for council was never something I ever thought about doing. Um, but just seeing what my kids were doing, how they were getting involved, and everything that's been happening in our country, I couldn't stand back anymore. I just couldn't. It was too much. It's too important to make sure that that not only I give people like me a voice, a parent, um, a woman, a person of color, these are all important things, but I just stand up for the kids who need to have a voice. And they have some really strong voices, and they have creative ideas and we should be leveraging that i mean it's just it's silly that we don't they're they're brilliant kids they're just this new generation up and coming is doing great things they're learning they're critically thinking there are days when i wonder how my kids even manage with me because they're way smarter than i am <laughs> but they can't run yet so i want to give them the voice that they don't yet have i think that's amazing Trady, do you have anything like what is your son how has it impacted your your decision to run? I don't know. Um, don't burn your pizza. But. <laughs> don't burn the pizza on fire back there. <laughs> Maybe we can we can come back to that one. <laughs> Oops, but that's why. See, it that's why. sometimes sometimes you know more minds are better than one. It's good to. Get, it's, it's, I'm gonna go throw a pizza. That's yeah, not perfect. Go for it. I don't know if you want to if you want to answer that one at all or um well i kind of didn't hear the entire question but i do know my son is very political and very very progressive um and so it has been um he's challenged me on a lot of issues and moved me even left which is um you know refreshing you know to to have even what you you know you think you're um liberal or progressive and then to even you know Look at things a new way so i'm actually heartened by the youth of the country so yeah. uh-oh are we not are we i think, we, we, I think we're good me. okay I think we're good. <laughs> yeah it's still counting counting down right our no. our producer our producer has been kicked out i think i think the i think the man of the sisterhood of parenting has been found so they shut it down <laughs> <laughs> they're like no man allowed <laughs> um i think i think that's awesome sherry i think that's a yeah. really good point and um jana brought it up too that our kids are i mean that's the breath of our of our future and they are a lot smarter than us so it's, yeah. it's awesome to yeah. be able to help give them a voice as well yeah and i think for me too just um when i was faced with the decision to run again for another another cycle of uh, election election cycle i decided to change seats and move toward the youth organization seat just because i find that's what I'm doing constantly with my with my days. Um, always something with youth. Always something in some kind of organized form. Hopefully, when it's not, it's chaos. Um, so, I I too am hoping that we can really um, add some add some new voices and some new breath to to our um, neighborhood council with with youth and with involving youth. Um, I also like when making pizzas, and I love metaphors. I was thinking, you know, a pizza is very tasty, but the more ingredients you to it the more diverse ingredients you put on it the the better it tastes the more um the more it will strengthen your palate and so a huge motivation of mine to run it for for re-election was to really um it, empower other voices and empower other neighbors to to do what i've been doing and to get on the neighborhood council and to really get their voice involved and um give them 
a chance to share their ideas, share their talents, share their um, thoughts, and and really work together in collaboration as a neighborhood council. So with open minds and um, you know a lot of a lot of empathy and um, a lot of you know just um, I think in general just the neighborly kindness that I would love to see brought to the table at the neighborhood council is kind of the ingredient that I saw that was missing. And so I'm super excited about um, all the candidates who are running are particularly on our on our um, slate for moving the moving the neighborhood council forward and, and having some new voices be heard and um, really getting into some issues that we haven't discussed as a neighborhood council. Um, so I'm excited for I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to, um, you know, have that have those conversations that are anchored in mutual respect and um, and anchored in compassion and kindness and um, just having an open mind and being able to collaborate with one another. I'm really looking forward to that, um, adding that to the to the pizza pie of the neighborhood council. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, moving it forward. <laughs> um, so I think that's that was kind of my my little spiel of why I'm running again and why I'm so excited um, for this for this new election term. And um, I don't know if we've had any more questions come up. Uh, we've got it, analogy. <laughs> All right, I will be your I will be your metaphor and fun lady for, for life. I, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yep. we <laughs> we got it all. We're we got well, it all. Yeah. Up here. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yes, yes, that too. When I I will say when I initially joined five years ago, I think there were two of us that were well, three of us that were mothers, maybe six women total. Five five or six. There was one that kind of came in shortly after I joined, but um, it's it's come a long way and it's gonna go a lot further. So I'm very excited for for that. Uh, woman's voice, mom's voice, you know, voice of, of moms, um, voice of professional, working, bi working moms, yeah, uh, business and um, education, like people are coming to the table with vast knowledge of education um, and local schools all coming to the table, which is really exciting as well. So to say, we're running out of room on this table. <laughs> yeah. making so many many pizzas. Pizzas. <laughs> Did you want Sherry's address? <laughs> Oh, no. Our producer is hungry. The producer is hungry. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Dig in. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. We no daughters. No daughters. daughters. <laughs> Only sons. Yeah. I think, but I, I think it is empowering for girls in the neighborhood to see so many women, so many moms being able to have their voice be heard, being able to give back to the community doing their civic duty. Um, and I, yeah, I would, and if any moms want to send their daughters over, I do adopt a daughter day because I like that. <laughs> or so we, I find a value in us being women in positions of power and what that sends to our sons, the messages yeah. that sends to our sons. So Very true. Very don't good have point. to just send those messages to our daughters. Yeah. Good point, Sherry. Cheese, cheese, cheese. I'm making a pesto pizza. And oh, I yeah, I was right there. Coming yep. to the table. Yep. Bringing it to the table. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I don't know. There were some other questions that had come up on some of the past. Um, I think some of the past conversations were, we can we can dive into some of those also if sure. we wanted to. I, I remember specifically one was, what's your favorite restaurant? Um, that would be Sherry's house. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza we, the pizza yeah, that's right. Oh, and Jan, I'm sorry, Jana's kitchen it is Sherry's backyard. It is a this is called a progressive dinner. Yeah. Progressive. <laughs> that's dinner. it. Oh, look at that. Yes. We are just yes. all over the place. We could <laughs> pizza, honestly. Yes. <laughs> you know, take a piece, bite of this pie, right? <laughs> oh, I yeah, and I I'm trying to think of some of the other questions that have come to up from some of the other ones uh, yeah we, i mean i answered we, one did you, you did? talk about which um committee committee yeah, yeah, maybe you guys want to i mean heather's already on she already runs the education committee 
I yeah. do, but I am really looking forward to maybe even passing the torch because we know other, you know, new voices and new leadership helps and I can then assist. And we've never had um, like a secretary on our committee for education. So like our minutes are very much lacking. So I'd love to improve that piece and just bring more leadership on, on board for the education committee. But then also there are quite, there's a lot of other committees that the neighborhood council currently has outreach, airport relations, planning and land use, community services. Um, but also there's room to amend our bylaws and add new committees, um, which yeah. a new place. <laughs> and the bylaws. Yes. You're there. <laughs> there we go. Deanna's passion project, but she's, she's cooking. So. <laughs> I also love to cook. So. <laughs> a cooking committee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up? Cooking by committee, yeah, that's true. Too many cooks in the kitchen doesn't work either, but. <laughs> um, but I do think there's room for a lot of committees, uh, new committees, you know, a youth a youth seat, a, a committee for bylaws, which we have had in the past, but maybe hasn't necessarily been well attended or well um, represented. So amending the bylaws and adding new committees is great. Um, Jan has done a little bit of research of how many other um, neighborhood councils have certain committees and certain seats because we can make amendments, which is really exciting as well. Um, I know quite a few neighborhood councils, probably about half in Los Angeles have some type of environmental committee, which we don't have here, um, which would be an important committee to have when you have wetlands and exactly. a gas company and exactly. all, all kinds of interests. Which are all of interest to us as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. What, Sherry, have you thought about committee participation? Um, I do. You know, I'm interested in outreach, but I do think if there were an environmental committee, that would be something of interest too. And just for all of you at home, it is important to note that you as stakeholders can come to any committee meetings. You can also actually be a member of the committee. There's room on each committee for community members to serve. Um, that's an amazing opportunity to um, get involved and sit on, a, sit on a committee without actually serving the board. So if you have a specific interest, um, you can serve on the committee. And as we've heard multiple times from the from the executive board as the neighborhood council, most of the neighborhood council's work is done in committee. So that's saying a lot. If you would like to get involved, you you can definitely do some work um, as just a stakeholder. So please do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah and I, I, <laughs> I want to say that, of course, I talked about creating a youth representative seat and getting kids involved, but we need more work on the outreach committee. There, we've been talking to people, we've been knocking doors. I'd say 80% of the people I talked to last weekend didn't know we had a neighborhood council. That needs to change. They need to know that this is a voice, this is their voice in the community and the, this is their voice in the neighborhood and this is where they can come and um, voice their opinions, talk about things that can't just be, you know, the same people every single time. We need to involve way more people, just like we need to involve the youth, we need to get everybody else involved. We've got so many families, and I don't think a lot of them know about it. It's hard. I mean, it's really hard. We <laughs> all know how many different things we all have to do, and I know COVID slowed that down, but it's picking up again. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, if we want to build a community that's really great for everybody who's here, then we all need to be involved. So I think that that's really important. And I think that's a huge goal, too, like making sure the meetings are accessible, making sure the information is accessible to, to you know, and attainable for all people in our community. Yeah, um, we don't hate that it's on Zoom because it made it more accessible for yeah. parents. Uh, yeah, and even parents with young kids who have to. And yeah, I, I mean, I used to hire a babysitter to go to the neighborhood council meeting for my volunteer role. <laughs> we have one the, minute. We left. do have one minute. Oh, Look at I this have, pesto pizza. I have a pesto pizza right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. And it's Jana so is going to share those recipes if, again if you ask for them in the comments. Yeah, and don't forget to request your ballot by June 1st, right? June 1st is the cutoff for requesting your ballot. We're going to drop the link um, for ballot requests in the chat as well. Mm -hmm. um, super important to get that request in. It's it's a little tedious, yeah, but you can definitely, we'll, we'll put it, we'll put it later. You can just add when it, I, when I get the recipes, it, it, yeah. Okay. yeah, no, it's there. So we'll, we'll drop it in there. But it is, yeah. but stick with the process. It's not too bad. Get, get um, in touch with us if you have questions. Yes. We yeah. Please we do. Will walk you comment, it. comment below if you need help. Yeah, <laughs> it's really important to vote. And um, if you want to learn more about us and our slate, 
you can go to forward2021.org. In our Facebook page. Yes. Yes. Or our Westchester Fly Forward Facebook page. We can create great, great things when we have the right ingredients at the table. Right? Bon appetit.